Hi everyone, Fenris Models here, and today we're going to take a look at the Lockheed P-38 FG Lightning from Tamiya in 148th scale. Now, this kit from 2019 is one that I have been looking forward to getting my hands on for a little while. Um, I've only built one other uh, Lightning before, that actually was the first uh, video on this channel, the one from Hobby Boss, um, the uh, uh, Easy Assembly one. And I quite like Tamiya's um, kits. I wouldn't call myself necessarily a Tamiya fanboy, but I do have a lot of fun building them. And I haven't actually done one for the channel, so I figured it was about time we did so. Um, and this one in particular, I've been looking forward to getting and building because it does come with the scheme for um, White 147, Miss Virginia, which took part in uh, Operation Vengeance, which was the operation in which we finally, we being the US, took out Admiral um, Yamamoto, the mastermind behind Pearl Harbor, and Miss Virginia was the uh, plane piloted by Colonel Rex T. Barber, who is credited now with shooting down um, Yamamoto. And I say that because there's some interesting controversy as to who actually shot down Yamamoto, but these days most historians believe, you know, it was uh, Barber who had done so. So if you're interested in that, you know, definitely look into it. It's, it, it, it's an interesting story. But anyway, so, yep, as you have been able to see, it has some nice artwork. Um, the box is sizable, <laughs> but not huge. We have um, a couple other options as well for the F variant. We have white 33, and on the G, we have white 147. Then we have a yeah, nice little blurb all in Japanese about the lightning and another close-up of the cockpit that's been painted up. So, let's open this guy up and take a look at the sprues. Alright, so like normal, we're going to go ahead and take a look at these first. So we have a nice little Tamiya Tech tip. So this tells us how to, you know, to test fit, how to remove metal plating if you don't want that, using their spray cans, cutting off parts, all that kind of stuff. And then we have a nice little fold out in both Japanese and in English and German and French um, on the P-38 Lightning. And also this is neat, this is a nice little kind of diagram that shows the different parts and, and uh, names them out, so you don't always see that, that's nice. Now the instructions. Now usually Tamiya has a multiple fold out page type style, but this one, if there's more to it, it is more traditional book style, booklet style. So we do have the paints required and the recommended tools, you know, the read beforehand stuff. <clears throat> As I said before, we have two main uh, variants, the A and the B, or not variants, uh, uh, paint schemes, A and B, so just make sure you know which one you want to do ahead of time because you will see that some, you know, you'll have different options, so like in the case of the um, instrument panel here, you use slightly different, different parts depending on whether or not you're doing the A or the B. As I said before, I will be doing A, so then we have all of the cockpit bits like we normally do, and then looks like there's a good Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, there's, um, looks like this piece right here has a lot of undergating. We'll take a look at it when we get to it. But, so, what that, and I'll, I'll point out what undergating is when we get there. But, so, there's a good bit that you'll have to trim off additional. Um, so, just be aware of that. Closing up the wing slash fuselage and building your wings. The turbochargers and getting those installed. More of the, in, um... Oh, these are for the, the booms, the, I never, I never really am sure if you call it technically a boom or an nacelle, but we're going to call it boom because that's what's listed here. Um, so the boom assemblies, and it does look like they give you weights to, um, we'll, we'll get into the parts, but um, that you'll have some weights that you'll be able to use for uh, the booms and the nose, so that way you don't have to worry about, um, you know, not having enough of that. And then landing gear, if you're going to put it in landed mode. All of our bombs and undercarriage, our pilot, our canopy, props, yeah, P-38 
painting guide. I always love it when they do this. Instead of giving it to us in black and white, we have this really nice, big, massive fold out. Now, this does take up a lot of room, um, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to keep it out to see everything, but this has our, you know, paint scheme and our um, decals. Front side is for scheme A, back side for scheme B, depending on which one you want. So now we, they do include some masking for the uh, canopy, which they don't always do, so that's always nice. Unfortunately, these are not pre-cut, so you are going to have to cut them with um, your X-Acto or hobby knife, um, scissors, whatever. But it's not, not terribly bad, so they're not, not too terribly small. And our decals. So you see we have our stars and bars, or I guess just stars in this case. Um, shark teeth, some of our numbering. Anyway, they're relatively thick as Tamiya's want to do. Like you can definitely run your fingers over this and feel them. But I have found that Tamiya... So I know that people have issues with Tamiya decals with how thick they are. I've never had issues getting them to lay down and mold into the details of the kit. Um, I just use some Microset and Microsol two maybe three applications of the microsol and that's usually all it needs but i will say that even when it lays nice and neat you do you can still see that lip um so if that bothers you again something to be aware of but you're probably already aware that tamia are you know thicker decals i don't know why i did air quotes there because they are thicker decals uh, <laughs> but i i don't i don't think um i don't think it's as bad of an issue as it can be made out to be at least in laying into the panel line so we're going to start with the clear pieces and as tommy has want to do we have some very nice clear crystal clear parts i do like that they have on this one right here where you're going to be painting um it is a little rougher that's why it looks a little foggy there um that's going to help the paint to adhere um so that's nice that they added that and don't have to worry about the um the paint rubbing off because the smoothness of the clear parts the um, paint doesn't adhere as nicely um so yeah they, they, they it can easily rub off so the fact that they've included that as a um, little bit hazy to give it a little bit of a tooth that's uh, very nice i appreciate that so here we go this is sprue g i'm, I'm not going to go through them in order or just the pile that they're in is how we're going to approach them so um, but here we have a lot of our internals we have our two options for the control panel depending on which variant you're using um so our, our bit of the cockpit we have our headless pilot in his head and the i think that's the bottom side of the front so yeah so like the fuselage so he'll be sitting in here so here we have some wing parts our props rear here we have two sprues of the same and they are the the wheels the, pretty much all of the undercarriage bit you have your um bombs and fuel tanks you have our rudders just a few different things that are doubled up on and here we have the support spar for the wings um internal for the boom so i think these are all boom parts yeah that's what it looks like and then our actual booms proper it's got some good detail in it i'm pretty happy with it it's you know maybe not be perfect perfect but it's it's pretty good the nose and the turbocharger pieces and finally, the upper wing and fuselage bit. Now, I wanted to show you, I'm going to get this focus in here, what I meant about undergating. So, usually when you see a part, how it connects to the gate, you see how the gate, it's um, flush, right? The, um, um, you know, it goes straight in and it's, it's the same kind of width as the piece of the plastic there. One thing that you will sometimes come across is 
where the gate actually well like here see how there's that little tiny lip where it's actually connecting um like it's connecting above like it's connecting up here not right straight straight in right um and so when you snip it you do it the way that you normally would normally you know and then you just have to clean up right there however because this is sitting on there we go there we go there use the shadow to our advantage um, because it's sitting on top of you also need to trim off you know I can sit here and I can go trim it down like that but you see there's still that little bit of debris so now I need to come in and clean it up like that and now it's gone so just be aware um, and that's called under gating um, it's where the gate connects under the part that's what the terminology there is um, and so whenever you do have an undergated part, you just need to be aware that you don't just clean off the edge. You need to clean on top or at the bottom of the part as well. Um, and this, this part in particular, but in general, it does look like there's a good bit of undergated parts. So something to be aware of. Um, if you don't clean it up, the parts won't necessarily fit right. And that can give you, you know, issues. So, and then finally, the last thing is, as I said before, they give us some weight to put into the plane. So, so these are going to go inside each boom and each one is going to get one of these metal weights. I don't know where it goes in the nose, but what, there's three of them. So I'm assuming one also goes in the nose. Um, and it's nice that they included that. I know that companies do not always include um, weights, but it's always nice to see it when they do. So yeah, that was a look at the Lockheed P-38 FG Lightning from Tamiya in 148th scale. Um, as I said, I'm looking forward to building this one. Um, it's one I've wanted to build for a little while now. Um, and yeah, I, I'm hoping you're looking forward to seeing it built up too. And if you are interested in this kit, um, just let me know, you know in the comments below if this seems like a kit that you yourself would pick up. Um, and in the meantime, stay safe and keep modeling. Thank you to my gift set tier patron, Callie Bear.